This video is going to be delicious. This is going to be something that I have literally never tried. Man, I am excited, I'm nervous, and I'm just a little gassy. Sorry. I am so excited to make this video. This is something that I have wanted to film for a very long time. And I just, I don't know, everything was just stopping me. The universe did not want me to try these cookies. But now today, I will finally be trying crumble cookie for the first time ever. Ooh, ooh, I... I don't know how to do that move, sorry. Yes, you heard me right. I have never had a crumble cookie in my life. It's it's really just unfortunate. Well, all right, I think it is officially time to bring in the cookies, baby. Check this out. <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, these are my crumble cookies and I'm so fucking hyped to eat them. Now, some of you may be wondering, why do you have two boxes of crumble cookies? Oh, uh, that was uh, my mistake. This girl handed me two boxes of crumble cookies and I only paid for one. If the universe wants to give me 12 crumble cookies, I'm not gonna fight it until I open the second box and it's completely empty. Guys, I ordered a fucking empty box. It was my very first time to a crumble cookie and I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Now let's get into the flavors of the week, shall we? All right, we got semi-sweet chocolate chunk, lemon cheesecake, classic peanut butter, chocolate cake batter, iced oatmeal, and whatever this is. Yeah, I think this may be a cookie from last week's menu that somehow ended up in my box. <sighs> It, whatever. We're having a cookie party, baby. So I kind of went ahead and did something that you are never supposed to do with crumble cookies. And I added up the calories of all six cookies. These six cookies combined are 4,510 calories. You know, if I were to eat all six of these cookies, my ass would be hella fat. All right, the very first cookie that I'm gonna try is the semi-sweet chocolate chunk. This is a good looking cookie. Moment of truth, my first ever bite of crumble cookie. Let's get it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That, that was pretty good. I may need to take one more bite just, just for science. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, kind of dried me out a little bit. Hang on. Man, that was a good cookie. I'm gonna have to go ahead and rate that a solid four out of five stars. I love a good chocolate chip cookie and that is a great chocolate chip cookie. Honestly, this cookie would have gotten a five out of five star rating, but the outside was just kind of dry, a little bit harder, a little crusty, but the inside was hella moist. All right, the next cookie we're gonna try is the classic peanut butter. Now I am low key a peanut butter fiend. I do have a feeling that this one is going to be exceptionally dry. Oh, it's got those cracks in it like the Sahara Desert. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, shoe nice. I mean, right off the bat, I gotta say that the chocolate chunk is definitely better than this. Clearly, it was gonna be more dry. I knew that going in. But with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a solid three out of five stars. The taste is there. The taste is, is serving, if you will. All right, put your ass back in bed, baby. And the next cookie on the list is the chocolate cake batter. This cookie looks insane. Just take a look at this cookie. This thing looks incredible. You've got the chocolate cookie with the chocolate icing, the chocolate crumbles on top, and then rainbow sprinkles? Holy freak, Mr. Crumble put his whole crumbussy in this. The one thing I will say is that I'm not a huge fan of things that are super chocolatey. Trust me, it is definitely possible for something to be too much chocolate. So we're gonna find out if it's too much or if it hits that sweet spot. All right, let me rotate this. I gotta go in at like a really good spot, get a little bit of everything. Bye. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. Wow, now that is a rich ass cookie. Oh my God, that chocolate taste is obviously super strong. And this was the chocolate cake batter. I can definitely taste that. It literally does taste like if I was just spooning out cake batter from a bowl. And let me tell you one thing, it ain't dry. You see the chocolate icing on top really plays a major role. Like that on top of the cookie, the cookie's already moist. But then with the soft ass icing on top, it's like hella wet. This thing is dripping. Like I said, I am not the biggest chocolate guy when it looks like it's gonna be just like too much. You know, I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a solid four out of five stars. Now, I don't want you guys to think that I'm being like a tough critic here, but I know that there is going to be some cookie someday from Crumble that is a solid five out of five. But everything I've had so far just 
isn't it. The next cookie on the list is the lemon cheesecake. Um, let's get a close up of this, shall we? Look at that. It literally has a little lemon piece on top. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever effing seen? I do like some lemon things, but like a lemon cheesecake cookie? I just don't know what to think. It does look good, and this thing is f***ing covered in icing. One thing I will tell you guys is that crumble cookies are heavy. These are thick ass cookies. These cookies have a, a donk on them. This one may just be the Kim K of all the cookies in this box because it has the fattest ass and it's definitely the absurd amount of icing that's on top. The actual cookie though besides the icing does look dry like the classic peanut butter but that icing is probably gonna make up for it. All right time for the taste test shall we? Oh my god. I am gonna be so for real right now. This is incredible. I like some lemon things, but I'm not a lemon guy. But this, this just tickled my sweet spot. I, I gotta go in for one more. Mmm. Okay, let me tuck this one back in before I eat its entire ass. I think it's safe to say that I am shook right now. I didn't think I was gonna like that cookie, the lemon cheesecake. Honestly, the aftertaste, it's kind of giving like lemon meringue pie, which, you know, I do mess with the lemon meringue. I gotta go ahead and give this cookie a very solid four out of five stars. It just, it deserves it. I feel like a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of lemon, but like that was just a good cookie overall. Like this cookie was so good, but it's a lemon cookie. Clearly it cannot get a five out of five star rating. And the next cookie we're trying is the iced oatmeal. Just take a second to look at this cookie. I gotta say, it's a pretty good looking cookie. You know, besides the icing on top, underneath it looks like it would be pretty dry, a little crusty. Now I gotta keep it real with you guys. I love an oatmeal cookie and this is Iced oatmeal? Holy cheese. Yeah, I may be a little biased on this one, but we're about to find out. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta gather my thoughts on this one. This may just be the easiest rating I've done so far. This is a solid four out of five stars. Like this is worthy of trying. If you like oatmeal cookies, trust me when I say that you are going to love this. I mean, cause clearly, I do. I may just have to save him for later. Now, if you're someone that doesn't really like oatmeal cookies, here's just a few words of advice. Grow up. Guys, I'm telling you, your taste buds are gonna change. One day, you may be 60 years old, but you are going to F with this cookie hard. And last but not least, the cookie that is literally not even from this week's menu, the uh, whatever Ooh. this is. Let's just get a close up of that one. Look at that. This looks like a really solid cookie. The cookie itself is like the same as the chocolate cake batter, but then you just have a mountain of icing on top with a drizzle of chocolate on top of that. Guys, they, they snapped when they made this cookie. Um, once again, let's just give it a little way. Up, uh, yep, it's fat as hell. I honestly cannot imagine if someone were to sit down and eat all six of these cookies at once, you would probably gain like 50 pounds. Cut, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Okay, this cookie is actually insane. Just forget everything else I said about these cookies. This is the one. Wait, actually, I think I need one more bite. I'm just gonna put you down before I act up. I'm not even gonna waste any time. That was a five out of five star cookie. Hands down, the best one of the day. This cookie was the moistest one of the day with this mountain of icing on top that is just even more moist. It kind of has like a, a chocolatey strawberry sort of taste, I think. I just need to point out um, the aftermath of this is kind of scary. Does anyone have a moist towelette? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was every crumble cookie from this week, and that was my very first time ever trying crumble, ever. And I gotta say, I may just be a new crumble customer. Guys, why did why did nobody tell me that these were effing fire? All right, well, I'm just gonna go put these cookies in the, in the kitchen away from me. I'm not gonna go eat them all.